Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy a free Bitcoin trading grid bot on the Binance Futures platform. So let's get right to it. The first thing you need to do, obviously, is sign in to your Binance account. And you'll need to go over to the Derivatives tab across the top toolbar and choose the USDSM Futures tab. Click on that. And that will land you on the Binance Futures dashboard. From here, you'll go over to the right-hand side of the screen. You'll see Grid Trading. You will click on the Grid Trading, which will bring you to the Strategy Trading Config page. From here, you're ready to configure your Grid Trading bot. And so the first decision you need to make is what contract do you want to actually trade? In this case, I will be trading BTC USDT. However, they have a long list of different coins from ETH to ADA to REN, or you could select Uniswap. But today I'll be trading BTC USDT perpetual contracts. Now, the next choice you have is whether you want your margin to be isolated or spread across your other assets my preference is always isolated as i just want the margin to be isolated to this particular trade the next option is the amount of leverage you want to put on and i never go over 9x so in this case it'll be 9x now if you're not familiar with trading leverage or margin or how that all works you need to do a whole lot more recon before you deploy a bot that utilizes leverage and margin so I click confirm and so now I have isolated margin on 9x leverage trading BTC USDT. The next selection is my lower and my upper price. So now I need to go do some recon on what I want my lower and upper price to be. So I jump back over to my chart for BTC USDT and what I'm looking for my upper level I typically go somewhere near resistance. And my lower level is typically somewhere around support. And with that all being said, I'm looking at the current price action to be somewhere around the middle of this zone. I don't want it to be at the top of this zone. And I certainly don't want it to be at the bottom of the zone because any movement down would have us leaving the zone. And so the price action is just above the middle of my 60 upper and my 30 lower because you see support and resistance and I do typically try to give it a little bit of room to maneuver and I feel comfortable with those levels and so I'll plug in the lower price of 30,000 and my upper price is going to be 60,000 next I need to select the mode for the actual grids and in this case I select geometric and geometric means each grid has equal price ratio difference and that will basically affect your profit ratio as well and so now I need to select the number of grids and I'm going to just start with 40 grids based on my upper lower price I'd be looking at a profit of around 1.71 percent per grid and that does include fees. Now I actually want to have a few more grids on the board. So I'm going to bump that up to 50. And now I'm looking at a profit per grid of 1.36%. So what that basically means. When the price moves in my direction. Each time it hits one of those grids. I should be profiting 1.36%. And that might not be an exact number. But it's a ballpark nonetheless. Now, before I go too much further, I want to stress this video is a how to set up, not a how to copy my settings. I'm basically showing you what I'm comfortable with, with the risk tolerance. And in all reality, I'm expecting to lose this full amount. It's a risk I'm willing to take because of all my other trading strategies I have going on in the crypto world. I'm willing to take this risk. You may not be. So with that being said, I'm teaching you how to set it up not how to copy my settings. Now the next field I need to complete is the initial margin and that's how much of my actual funds I'm going to be putting up front. And in this case, it's gonna be 250. And had I not put in enough, it would tell me the amount I actually need to put in. And in this case, it's 247. So my 250 would be sufficient. 
which also happens to be just around half of what I have available on this particular account. And with this information completed with my leverage, my total investment is going to be $2,200. Now you could go ahead and hit this create button. However, there are some advanced settings that are optional. And the first one is your grid trigger price. Now, if I wanted to be right in the middle of this zone, I could wait for this bot to go off at 45,000 and that would put me right in the middle of my upper and lower levels but in this case I'm going to go ahead and deploy it without a trigger price now the next option is the stop trigger and that will allow you to basically have a stop loss if the price goes below your bottom or your top price and I typically try to give it a little bit of maneuver to get back in the zone so in this case I'm going to go with 29,000 and on the top side 61,000 and then the next two options is cancel all orders once it's stopped when you're stopped you could actually go in and cancel the orders manually if you so chose but I rather have the bot cancel everything for me and then close all positions on stop if I'm outside of my zones I want to go ahead get out stop regroup and maybe redeploy a new bot so i check off close all positions on stop some of you if it price is crashing down you might want to hold on to bitcoin in that case wouldn't be a bad move you've accumulated some bitcoin and now you can hold on to it and wait for the price to go back up and that's pretty much it we're finished configuring the bot and now it's time to hit the create button and we'll get a grid order confirmation and again my mode was geometric leverage was nine price range was thirty thousand to sixty thousand number of grids was 50. the quantity per order is going to be 0 0.001 btc my profit per grid is approximately 1.36 percent initial margin is the amount i'm actually putting up is 250 dollars total investment will be 2250 grid trigger type and trigger price i did not set and then my stop loss for bottom and top prices are 29,000 and 61,000. so i click confirm grid created successfully and you'll see the grid actually fill in on the chart and you do get a message that BTC USDT is in grid trading, manual trading, cancels orders or closes positions of the symbol terminates grid strategy. So if you actually wanted to trade BTC USDT like in live manual trades like I do, you would actually cancel out your bot by doing so. So I'm not going to do that for now on this particular account. I've got another account I can do that on, so I won't do it on this particular account and that pretty much wraps it up the bot is live and i will be doing update videos in the near future so be sure to shoot that subscribe button if you have any questions or comments leave those in the comment section down below if you like this video do me a favor and spike that like and remember never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video